Hey guys, this is a uh, breaking news story. <laughs> Brought to you by Mike Narks and Brian. Uh, yeah, so it looks like Edelbrock, their their California headquarters is closing. What's what's going on there, Narks? Well, I mean, I'm, I'm waiting on some info back from a high level uh, employee in the facility in Memphis, waiting on the. Uh, waiting on the stuff back from him. So we should have that any minute. I, I see the little typing dots. So I think he's writing a freaking novel to me here. So, but Late's the one that broke the story. Uh, he's the one that sent it to us and was like, what the heck is going on? So I think- Listen, he was here's, what, here, here's what I've heard already, right? It's all these LS guys. You buried El Brock. You buried the carburetor. You buried the three quarter race cam. Shame on you. They're out of business. Well, I don't know that, but headquarters is closing. And they've laid off like I mean, two, 270 people. So It wasn't, so it wasn't us Hemi guys. It wasn't Hemi guys that did. It's LS guys. Yeah, because yeah, nobody makes shit for y'all. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> it's all too Dude, right. Dodge don't that's, even make stuff for us. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Well, so if people, if you've been around my channel for a while, I had uh, comp cams, uh, I had two comp employees on the podcast last year and uh, i'll link i'll send those links later to go in the description but i had i had those guys on and uh i didn't say anything about any of this so i have to get them back on i'm waiting on one of them to to give me the the info it's still it's still typing so i think he's probably getting approval for maybe what he can and can't say well from the little bit i was able to read just doing a google search i noticed that nobody had done anything on youtube so that's why i wanted to kind of get us together real quick or Brian, thank yeah. you. Or Narks, thank you. We all kind of were like, what? Yeah. No way. I was hoping it wasn't the end of Edelbrock. Cause I mean, come on, that's huge. No, 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 surely, no, that's not the case. Yeah, Surely it's not the, uh, the money that was spent, I would think six or eight months ago with the company that owns Edelbrock buying comp cams and their subsidies, I wouldn't think they're closing, but I don't know what that means. And that's what I want to wait to hear back from him. Like, you know, why would you close your, you know, SoCal facilities headquarters after 85 years, you know, or 83 or whatever it said. Uh, well, I know right California now California rules and taxes. I don't know. Yeah. And it sucks. There's a, mass, there's a mass exodus and there's a bunch of videos about it. The mass exodus from California. Could, so it could just be kind of like Elon. He ran over to Texas and said, sorry, California, you're holding my hands yeah. back. So maybe Edelbrock yeah. is in the same boat. Yeah. And, you know, the one thing about like those big companies, those big holding companies like that is they don't care about heritage and, and things like that. They don't they're like, hey, we need to make money. We need to make profit. And so if you have a facility like Comp that is huge and in a metro market center of shipping, maybe maybe that's what they're doing. I don't know. I'm still waiting. Now the dots are gone away. So. If people will hang tight with us, we'll have some info momentarily. So where did, where did you just, find out about this, Brian? Uh, I think uh, uh, I was, well, what? I was on Reddit and I see the drive drop something on it. I've been watching all the uh, GameStop shenanigans and I, I got a few <laughs> shares of stock and I'm holding out for all my guys out there. Diamond hands, we're holding, holding, baby. Diamond but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I did have to ask you, capital. Right. Yeah, the AMC is not the automotive company. That's not the auto company making it come back. It's fucking. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> probably shouldn't have dropped the f bomb right there in the uh, four minute mark. Freaking, I saw it. Yeah, yeah. So, all right, hang on. We got our first text back here. Breaking news. He said they're keeping both foundry locations in California. And they're keeping the North Carolina locations uh, to to make carburetors. Who makes carbur? Who uses carburetors? God, I, uh, Fitex yeah. taking over almost everything, haven't they? Yeah, Holly yeah, Sniper. I'm a sniper. Yeah. 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 Holly Sniper's taking over the world. That's what's happening. Everybody's getting scared, and so they're doing that. Uh, it says uh, they moved their entire inventory before Christmas. Wait, come on, dude. Tell me where they moved it all. <laughs> That's pretty interesting. Uh, I wonder where they moved it. I don't know. So did they move it to like the North Carolina spot or something? I don't know. I don't know. I'm waiting on Good him. Lord. You know the you know the cost of that? You're you're dumping out a 
you know, hundred thousand square foot warehouse and moving it cross country. Well, uh, like that stuff's different. Like, you, like you know, the, you can't. Well, like you think, like the intakes and stuff are pretty light, but they'll cube. They won't cube well in a trailer as far as like moving oh, yeah. your warehouse stuff across the country, especially in the pandemic market now. You know. Oh yeah. Yeah, the tight market where everything coming out of California, truckload from. You know the the so yeah it's a big expense to to get out of california if that's what they're trying to do yeah. even consolidating yeah. to yeah uh, even you know headquarters bo, bo is saying there you know is it texas who knows i don't know uh i wish i had me one of those beers right now mine's in the house night going Man, hey, hey, listen, I, I had buddy. to turn the heat off so you could hear in here it's 48 degrees in here. The beer oh, is warmer than it is in the <laughs> shop. <laughs> that's awesome. It's uh, it's 68 in it. No, it's 74 in this shop. Yeah, I'm about 70 myself. I was gonna say I don't screw around. That heater's been on since my yeah. live since an hour before my live feed. So that's well. I'm sure they're gonna. I'm sure they're gonna yeah, move their headquarters somewhere. Um, as you said, I think it has to do not with politics necessarily, but kind of with the rules and regulations and stuff that are on them. Uh, you know, things start, start getting turned up and having worked out in California, I got to tell you, the homeless population population out there is run rampant. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, and those guys aren't putting carburetors on anything. No, you can't put a car <laughs> on a shopping cart. <laughs> no. uh, all right. So he, he's, he's well, got me back. Good. Let's yeah, try I it. Mean, there's a few people that have, I think. Uh, I think the Tampa Bay or Tampa, what's Tampa the Tampa? Yeah, I think those guys probably would do something like that. They uh, their live feed today was about some of the project they have. Uh -huh, um, I want. I need a mini bike now. That's all I'm going to say. So here we go. He has. Uh, he said they're moving it to uh, Comp Cams in Olive Branch, Mississippi. So Edelbrock's right not dead. It. You heard it here first. Yeah. Edelbrock's not dead. Everybody, calm down. Take that deep breath. Just yeah. through the nose, out through the mouth. Still, yeah, uh, just breathe. That's nuts, man. I mean, it, I'm glad that they're keeping comp cams and Edelbrock and not making Complebrock or some, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> that would be terrible. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would be bad. Uh, one thing that Billy Godbold said on the podcast back when he was on last year was that he really feels like this will help elevate packages. Uh, you know, like a guy will be able to call up and do heads cam intake, you know, carburation or fuel injection, all the stuff at the same time. Like you could do it as one simple package and, uh, and have somebody really spec it for you not just order it from summit or something like that. Right. Well, and the other thing with that is that, um, when they move it, wherever they're moving, if they do move it where you're saying it'll, Hate to say it this way, but there's a whole lot of racing right in that straight up and down area in the Midwest there where you're at. So from a shipping yep. standpoint, you're not going from West Coast all the way over to East Coast. When you're in the middle, right. you go both directions a hell of a lot faster than you could before. So just a logistic. Yeah, well, and the, the FedEx, you know, their main, main hub is uh, Memphis International Airport. So, so that'll help for sure. They fly more no, no. FedEx out of there than uh, regular airplanes do, regular airlines. You know, also on top of that, you have, uh, that's a good position between three of Summit's largest distribution centers. Or there, yeah. uh, is there one in Vegas, right? Ohio, Texas, and uh, McDonough, Georgia. So that yeah. kind of puts you yeah. in the middle of three of them. Yeah. So, yeah, cool. just it makes sense. Well, man, thanks guys for jumping on. Narks, thank you for the insider information. Brian, thanks for <laughs> throwing the flag out there and saying, guys, we got to figure, you know, let's at least talk about it. And uh, yeah, well, I'm, I'm glad I can just at least host and go, holy cow. Right. <laughs> hey, everybody that's in the live feed right now, I'm, I'm fixing to go live at my shop and uh, I'm just going to set the computer up and work while you guys watch and have conversations. So did you duct tape it to oh. a ladder, the camera? <laughs> Not yet. I'm about to. <laughs> we'll continue uh, on this beer and the rest of them. Thank you all. Yep, Scott, Scott, you guys. Louisville, Louisville has UPS distribution center. Sorry, I had to get him to that out. Yeah, I was 
I was saying FedEx. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Well, cool, guys. Hey, you heard it here. We'll see you guys later. Thank you. See y'all. Bye.